Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. A friend of mine always tells a story about a time he brought a new Muslim brother with him to Jummah. The brother had just recently taken his shahada, and my friend wanted him to get the experience of Jummah and listen to the khutbah so that he could benefit from it. My friend explained to him that there's no talking during the khutbah, and he said, you know, if you have any questions or if there's anything you don't understand, you can just ask me at the end. After the prayer finished, my friend asked the brother if he had any questions. He said, well, I know who Allah is, but who's Sapana wa ta'ala? It's often assumed that once people take their shahada and become Muslim, they automatically know these terms and phrases. They don't. I remember when I first became Muslim, I would sit in the masjid and listen to the imam speak, and sometimes I wouldn't understand half of what he said. It took me a while to learn what all these words meant, and even when I understood the translation of a phrase, I didn't necessarily understand its proper use and context. In this video, inshallah, we'll be learning some common Islamic phrases, with the goal of understanding both what they mean and how they're used. So, if you heard that story and you thought, yeah, who is subhanahu wa ta'ala? Then this video is for you. We say some Arabic words, so for them we like to define, uh, what does this mean? Louder than that! Louder than that! La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. This is the first part of the Shahada, the declaration of faith that a person says to become a Muslim. It's also known as the Kalima. The full version is Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad وسلم, is his slave and his messenger. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was reported to have said that anyone whose last words are La ilaha illallah will enter paradise. Alhamdulillah, praise belongs to Allah. This is basically like saying thank God, but we use it a lot. Whenever something good happens or you remember some blessing that Allah has given you, you should say Alhamdulillah. It's also good to say Alhamdulillah when something displeasing happens, as a confirmation that no matter what, good or bad, I am always thanking and praising Allah. Masha Allah, Allah has willed it. This is usually used when someone does something good and you're congratulating them or saying good for you or good job. We say Masha Allah because while congratulating the person, we're also remaining aware that ultimately it's Allah who made it happen. So if you got an A plus on your test, I would say Masha Allah, which essentially means God made it happen. Insha'Allah, if Allah wills it. This one you use all the time. It's basically like the phrase God willing, but we should be using it whenever talking about any future events. Usually non-Muslims only use the term God willing to emphasize the difficulty of a task, like God willing we will find a way to fix this economy. But for us as Muslims, we use it for everything, like hey I'm going to Dunkin Donuts inshallah, do you want anything? This reminds us that we are unable to do anything unless Allah wills it, and Allah has power over all things. Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Whenever you begin doing something, it's good to say Bismillah. So before you eat, drink, sleep, start your car, take an exam, give a speech, say Bismillah. In the Quran, every surah except for one begins with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the immediately merciful, the always merciful. That's the longer version, but Bismillah works just fine too. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. This is the standard greeting of Islam. So whenever you meet your fellow Muslim, you should say Assalamu alaikum. The longer version is Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace be upon you and Allah's mercy. Or even longer, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and Allah's mercy and blessings. Wa alaikum assalam. And upon you be peace. This is the return greeting for Assalamu Alaikum. And you should always return salams equally or greater than what was given to you. So if they say Assalamu Alaikum, you can say in return, Wa Alaikum Assalam, and upon you be peace. Or even better, Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullah, and upon you be peace and Allah's mercy. Or even better than that, Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh, and upon you be peace and Allah's mercy and blessings. Subhanallah, free from imperfection is Allah. This one's a little confusing. Even most Muslims probably couldn't tell you the literal meaning, but they understand it in context. Subhanallah is usually translated as glorified is Allah or glory be to Allah. But the very literal translation is free is Allah or void is Allah, which sounds totally weird out of context. 
For an example, in context, Allah says in the Quran, free is Allah from what they associate with Him. Subhanallahi amma yushrikun. So the implication in saying Subhanallah is that Allah is free from imperfection. When Muslims say Subhanallah outside of prayer, they usually use it to express shock or amazement, like saying, wow, or oh my God. Astaghfirullah. Forgive me Allah. Whenever you commit any sin, big or small, you should say Astaghfirullah. Seeking forgiveness from sin is the main use of this term, though sometimes people use it to express disapproval or disgust. As in, yo bro don't do that, Astaghfirullah, don't you know that's haram? Hopefully people can be a little more gentle in dealing... Okay. A'udhu Billah. I seek refuge with Allah. This phrase is used to seek protection from Allah whenever you are in any kind of fear, especially when you're afraid of temptations or the whispers of shaitan. The full version most commonly used is A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaytanir Rajeem. I seek refuge with Allah from shaitan the accursed. This phrase should also be said whenever you begin reciting the Quran. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, free from imperfection and exalted is he. Hey, it's subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala is what's said after someone mentions the name of Allah. You don't have to use it all the time, but it's good to do. If you're at the masjid on Friday, or you're listening to a lecture online, you might hear someone saying, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that. Or reading an article, you might see the word Allah followed by SWT in parentheses. That's a common abbreviation. Azza wa Jal. Mighty and majestic. This is also sometimes used after Allah's name, abbreviated as AWJ. It's interchangeable with Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Blessing of Allah be upon him and peace. This phrase is used specifically after mentioning the name of Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alayhi salam. Upon him be peace. This is said after the names of other prophets and messengers, such as Abraham alayhi salam, Moses alayhi salam, and Jesus alayhi salam. Jazakum Allahu khair. May Allah reward you with good. This is basically a thank you. When someone does something nice for you, instead of just saying thank you, you can say Jazakum Allah. May Allah reward you. Or Jazakum Allahu khair. May Allah reward you with good. Or even Jazakum Allahu firdos. May Allah reward you with firdos, the highest station in paradise. Wa iyakum, and to you. This is the response to Jazakum Allahu Khair. Essentially, it works as, You're welcome. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Indeed, we belong to Allah, and indeed, to Him is our return. This is what Muslims say at any time of loss, especially when they hear that someone has died. But it could be used at any time as a reminder of who we really are and where we're ultimately headed. So, inshallah, those are all the common phrases that I could think of. If you have any suggestions of important phrases that I might have missed, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to include them in a future video, inshallah. Also, before you go, don't forget to subscribe and check out the page on Facebook, inshallah. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Jazakum Allah khair. And peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. This video was brought to you in part by Dawah Shirts, a comfortable way to share Islam.